how you guys doing today so today's video is going to be an epic because we're not going to only chat about some of like some of the best characters that are free to play i would say like accessible but on top of that we're going to bring on one of the coolest guys i know who is mr arnold t101 arnold how you doing my man with the plan it's just ian let's go i'm having a great day and i'm oh glad we're finally able to get the collab going on it's been a long time oh, coming yeah. i know you've been trying to get something together it for has. a while and i'm glad we're able to get a couple vids together pumped out oh yeah man i'm just glad to have you here i know you're me and my channel i really appreciate it man of course so anytime what do we talk about today i hear that this is gonna be the best so, video of yeah. all time right here this is the video you need to watch if you want to get better at say. galaxy of heroes that's what they say so yeah today's video we're gonna go over 10 of in my opinion some of the best characters in the game and none of them are in the journey guide no legendaries no mm -mm. confrontations Zilch. no galactic legends there's zero of that here in this video all of this is relatively free to play friendly for the most part you know they're gonna have some hard nodes in here and there but these are all free to play accessible somehow so the first one we're gonna get to this list is oh my gosh mrs shock t herself Big guys shock, the one she and only is so so good here because i mean what else is there to say because she has the jedi you know the factions we can just go over the factions jedi yep. faction the, the galactic republic faction on top of that she's a great leadership for the clones you can use her in the clones in the jedi faction mm -hmm. everywhere she's gonna be so so great um you know everything about her i really there's nothing negative about her kit because on top of that yeah you can counter some of these great teams like a darth revan and such like that but you can use her in the Kiadi Muni mission to get those shards for your guild. That's yeah. a little bit harder for, you know, those top tier players, but that's something to shoot for, I would say. And it's a great character. I mean, she has a dispel on her basic. She has a whole cleanse and a, and a mass assist, and you can heal up another a little assist there as well. Everything's just great about her. I love her a lot. So. Yeah, I mean, there's yeah. a lot of great potential with this character because eventually, you know, the whole goal of Shakti, she babysits your clones. And once they move on to their big daddy Skywalker, you know, she's got, yeah. she still has vibe, but I see her in Jedi Knight Revan teams. I see her in Padme lineups. I see her with, uh, you know, just a lot of different stuff. And in territory battles, especially when you got to break up teams, use gas for the, one of the missions with Ahsoka. You need Shakti for your clones. Shakti with Padme, Galactic Republic. We're having a hard time with Galactic Republic Jedi being good. Luckily, she has both of those tags. You can't go wrong. And she's yeah. pretty darn fast, too, on top of it. She is extremely fast. Oh, yeah. And on top of that, her leadership gives up. Oh, it's great. All around great character. So I love her so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's next so, in the list? We could talk you know, about her all day. So yeah, we could. The next up here Arnold's gonna chat about is Newt Gunray. And I know you love this guy. So anything you want to talk about with Mr. Newt? So I like if we're thinking like pure free to play, super accessible, no hard no characters out there, characters you can access day one of Galaxy of Heroes. By far, my vote would go to Newt Gunray, squad arena character. And this changed the game for beginner players, free to play players who aren't going to get the hyper drive bundle. And separatists are a super logical way to go. It makes the Padme event so easy. So Padme is one of those first legendaries that you're going after. Really easy to beat those Phoenix teams in the early games and a lot of other teams super fast. And man, extortion has like 20 layers to it. It's like a whole video in itself. I don't want to talk too much about extortion it's here. It's crazy. And then when you think yeah. about the end game, you can oh, you can create a great new gunnery lead team that can take out a lot of stuff because it confuses the ai with the extortion and it slows them down and extortion just spreads like wildfire and for me personally at the end game in division one i don't use new gunner for offense as much anymore in a full separatist lineup because watt tambor being moved around a lot but now i just put new gunner and grievous team and it's double metalloid monstrosity for grievous the zeta viceroy's oh, yeah. reach chopping away at the max health and the debuff spreading everywhere man um best bang for your buck free to play character in this so game good. hands down yeah it, it has to be because in gac man i love talking about gac my favorite he's, thing my he's man. just so good with his unique mm -hmm. the gac with his unique is so so good i mean in my opinion one of the best ideas in the game it has to be for gac easily that's just the, the the thing that opens up there is just awesome so that's new gun ray he's just awesome all around not much else to say about him he's yeah. great so <laughs> next guy I mean, that's really it for him. There's not much else to say. But the next guy here is Mr. Darth Nihilus. Um, so, I mean, this guy, he's so, so simple. He's so simplistic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could have brought on Mando, but I feel like Mando's a little bit too early on to and say, I think he's like, limited. he might be better than Darth Nihilus. You need Nihilus. bounty hunters for Mando. Limited. That's the problem. Nihilus. The payout, yeah. If you had to make a video of top 10 characters yeah. stood up to the test of time, Nihilus has to be up there. Like, uh, there's... 
he's always been useful for something. And Grand Arena, I, I never see a Grand Arena without him, really. He's always used, yeah. And like talking about the, the Mandalorian payout, you have to have the payout first with the buffs. But with like Nihilus, you just need to, you know, get the Drain Force, reduce the cooldown of his Annihilate. You get Annihilate, you just kill somebody, and you're good to go. And he's really tanky as well. He yeah. gets a lot more stacking HP with his unique whenever I think somebody is inflicted with a debuff, right, on either Treya or Scion. So you really get that HP going. And on top of that, with the Annihilate, you get even more max health. So he's just going to be a super, super ultra tank for your team almost and somebody can annihilate and dispel as well on his basic he's just great all around not much else to say about nihilus he is a must for you guys out there who are free to play or really anybody out there honestly he's just so good yeah great all around viability so, great for territorials grand arena yeah. it's fantastic what do we have next here yeah so so next um is going to be mr jedi anakin mr Woo. jk himself he is great um you can go talk about him man i have a lot to talk about and other characters here on this yeah, list. Yeah, so. we got a lot. I mean, here's the thing with Jedi Knight Anakin. He's great all around because he's going to penalize you for harming any people. Of course, it gets amplified. The, the, the punishment gets amplified if it's a full Galactic Republic team. But really, it, once you finally get a Jedi team together or a Galactic Republic team, that's really where he's going to shine the most. I personally enjoy him the most, not with Padme, but with Jedi Knight Revan, really. Because... It's a, it's a really good utility knife for slicing through Darth Revan teams. He puts out massive amounts of damage. Give him the Grandmaster's training. Feed him the buffs and Bastos Sean, and he's going to just start one-shotting a lot of characters out there. And then when people are starting to fall oh, yeah. below that threshold, man, once you have all that Grandmaster's training and buffs on him, he's going to hit hard, 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 hard. Yes, and dude. I think he's almost necessary if you want to have a great Padme lineup because uh, that Righteous Fury Zeta ensures that Padme is going to quickly get rid of like a death mark or something, get that bonus turn. Uh, <laughs> and he's, man, let's not neglect the ship, the staple oh, ship dude, to the cannot. negotiator. The ship is is probably top five ships in the game, honestly. It's just so Easily. good. Easily. It's so, oh, yeah. and it's not, besides the negotiator, it's just a great ship all around. Uh, JKA, uh, free to play character. Yeah, you're just I, I man, I could I, I don't want to talk too much about it because I can talk about these characters all day. Fantastic know, character. And GOTB yeah. light side, always used for that. That's important. Yeah, I mean, that's like the, the biggest thing with all these characters. You're gonna get not just like one, not two, but like many multiple uses out of these characters. Yeah. And Anakin's just one of those ships, you know, GACTW, arenas, like everything, and especially like the Padme team early on. Like we just talked about new, you can get the new going, get Padme unlocked, Anakin throwing it. It's all good. It's all good in the hood, man. So the next one here is Mr. Rex himself. Rex, guys, is such <sighs> such a plug and play character. He has been this way since he has released. Yeah. Um, yeah, they tweaked up his kid a little bit, you know, made him, I would say, even better, like way better. They so, didn't yeah, nerf if you him. thought he was good early on. It was like one of the they, reworks, but they, yeah, they, they didn't, didn't pull away anything. They just added on top. Nothing. They kept his core, bolstered a couple things up, and gave him a freaking stacking annihilate capability. He is the best free-to-play character when it comes to the raids. He kills the Sith raid. I mean, yeah, I'm not soloing it like Sprinter Kylo, but that's a whole no, different no, point. No. But still, he puts up yeah. some of the best numbers out there aside from Sprinter Kylo. Uh, AAT raid, he helped uh, do the full auto uh, solos easily. Uh, He's just great, man. I, I don't want to steal your thunder. How about you talk yeah. a bit more about him? It's fine. Yeah, like talking about raids, like he, like you were mentioning, he's like babysitting until you get gas. Well, he's babysitting you get Mr. Kylo, honestly, for like the raids and such. Yeah. But on top of that, like he, he, like he has Annihilate so great in, in these TBs with killing these super high HP protection units. Um, and the form up with the TM capabilities is so great. And like we said, with not having gas, maybe you don't have gas out there. That's pretty, uh, pretty hardcore stuff. But if you want to, you know, shock to your Rex leader are still very, very good. I remember mm -hmm. recently in GAC, I was fighting a Rex lead instead of a shock T and I had to use my CLS. Yep. I lost so many battles. I lost almost everybody. I barely want it. And that's due to, because he gets, he gives out rather whenever somebody gets critically hit. 15% turning to the clones. And that with CLS, they just don't mesh together. CLS just kind of gets trashed a little bit. And that's it's a huge thing with Rex. Everything about this guy is so, so good. I just cannot recommend him enough. He is just overpowered in the sense of how many uses he gets. And you know, he has a ship, nothing too hot here, but maybe we'll get some more love down the line. It could be pretty good. We don't know yet, but we'll have to see. I just love Rex a lot. He's been out since 2016 so, and he's always been useful even up until his rework. Yeah, 2016. He's 2016. held his value for so long, man. Gosh, that's crazy. Yeah. I did not know he was that old. Yeah, a road right. impacts.
<laughs> oh my god. That's a throwback <laughs> word. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. All right. So next up here, um, Arnold's gonna take Jolie Bindo. Jolie's a freaking <laughs> Jolie a crazy exotic man. A crazy as the man. the recent name he's been given he's been coined. Uh, I think this character is so dumb, but it works to your advantage nowadays. There was a point where when he yeah. first came out with Bass LaShawn, uh, when there was no Jedi Revan yet, I wasn't really too impressed with him. Once Jedi Knight Revan came into the picture, he is honestly what I think made the Jedi Knight Revan team broken. The, oh, it, yeah. It really, I mean, I honestly, maybe we just got to give credit to only one thing, and that's that looks pretty bad. I don't know if we'd be talking about him if it wasn't for that looks pretty bad. No. Bring in, I, like, here's that the, is what makes him. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I've seen so many Grand Arenas, my Grand Arenas, Mobile Gamers, Grand Arenas, whatever the case may be. Jedi versus Grievous, it seems like 90% of the time it comes down to, will Jolie survive the Revive Your Team five times over? And then you pull out 60 banners. Talking about, like, uh, rubbing yeah. salt on Grievous's wound right there. He's, like, taking out all of your Jedi, and you can pull out 60 banners because of this guy. Reviving over and over again. Heals galore. Um, he's such a dumb character, but uh, it's one of those things where you just can't he help is. but laugh when you're using him. <laughs> It's he cheese. is. It's I mean, cheese. Uh, <laughs> revives are huge. Yeah, cheese, man. Revives are just so huge, you know, especially the Jedi team. They already hit pretty dang hard with all their assists. And you toss in a guy like Joe Lee who can revive them all if something does, like I said, so that looks pretty bad. If something bad happens, boom, they come back up and you're back at it again. So he's just so good. And he's also older public. Probably not going to get as many uses out of him, but you never know. Maybe down the line we'll get some more older public content. Heck, he could be really good there, but I probably would say for the time being, JKR, 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 he's just so good there. Yeah, honestly. it's funny. All the new counters, or new teams and characters coming out lately, the, a lot of them stop revived because of him. So it's like, you know, you can't revive it's against really, General Anakin uh, Skywalker. I can 100% guarantee it's because of this guy. Anything that's anti-revive in the future, it's because of this guy. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. It's gotta Don't be, Don't let man. the bald head fool you. This guy's a troublemaker. Yeah, dude, the revives are just so scary. And there's, you know, like, like stopping revives. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, Jolie is just so good. But the next person we have here is Mrs. Bass with a shawl. Bass with Your love, man. Again, you kept talking Empire. about her. Well, when we're in our conversation, Dude. like, just talk about her. Tell him what's the magic behind this lady. What what gets you going here? So, man, <laughs> I I think that she is better used outside of the Darth Revan. And it's because of Emperor Palpatine. Yeah. Emperor Palpatine and Darth Revan are both in a journey guide. We know that a lot of these guys are pairs with these characters we're talking about. But... EP especially with BSF can now counter so many more teams in my opinion and you get just so much more control and y you get pretty good banners actually as well. Usually with Darth Revan team you're going to take some hits, you're not going to get as many good banners, but with EP you're going to be out there in front of the team if you have a fast, fast LeSean Fallen, you're going to get some fear. Fear guys is one of the best, if not it is the best I think debuff the best. in this game. Mm -hmm. It has to be the best. I mean, you're pretty much just stopping them. It's like, pretty much like a stun. And if you hit off the fear, you know, they lose their, what is it? Their cooldowns get reduced their by cool one. Downs, and also they, they get, get all yeah. these. All these oh, debuffs. It's yeah. like, it's like, you know, it's like you kill the big mom and all of a sudden all the little babies come out. It's like, there's no way. It's like, it's a, it's just a mess of a debuff. And once you get that going, it man, is. all aboard the Papa Papa Teen Express. Dude, we ain't stopping when she's here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're not stopping. You're never stopping because on top of that, her cooldown is pretty low. Yeah. You can just kind of keep cycling back and back and back to it. But another big team, another big thing here why I think she's just really good on this list and why she is on this list is because she can actually be used to counter some I'm glad Galactic you brought Legend that up. raids and Kylos because yeah. it is a huge, huge deal here um, with her. She's just so, so good in that regards. You know, it's it's a must. I think a free to play character on this list that can counter some GLs it is a huge, huge win for you, honestly. Um, yeah, that ability block is especially, you know, like not everyone has altered abilities yet for these galactic legends. And uh that just in general, even with, with the ultimates, if you can ability block stop Ray from a sudden whirlwind or stop Kylo from stunning or doing an AoE, oh, yeah. it's so weird how ability blocks have become such a top tier debuff now with the Galactic Legends counters. Yeah, um, yeah, I mean you can stop specials with the GLs there or um, you know, down the line. I mean, actually, you know, I'm not sure what I'm talking about here. You can already just, but it'll stop. That's what I'm trying to get out. But that stopping their specials, like we were just kind of in, in Arnold's last video, you can stop potential, you know, Kylo's stuns or yeah. his AOE, stuff like that. It's out there. It's a great character, Battle Sean Fallen. So next up here on the list is Mr. Old Ben. Old Ben Kenobi. Yeah. Anything you like about this man here? He also has some ability blocks on 
Mine's rich. It's funny, you know, uh, I was, I've was i always been a fan of Old Ben. Ever since his creation, even when his leadership was bugged, there was a point, this is very old, his leadership, uh, Old Jedi Knight, was bugged. And I remember bringing this up many times in Tiny Grimes' comments. It's like when, when Duke was meta, it's like, well, why isn't Old Ben meta? He's got the same thing, basically. And they eventually... Tiny Grimes, what a throwback. I, I, that's a throwback right there. That's, oh, that's baby. Some, yeah, oh, that, baby. That was, the, that was the king of Galaxy of Heroes back then. Uh, and I, oh I've always been, I've never been a fan of the dodge meta. I've never been a fan of that, but he, this, this mind trick is what just shuts down enemy teams. And I, uh, with my, with beginner players, this is actually kind of a scary person to go up against because boom, you lost all your turn meter, your ability block, you got offense down and it's just, yeah. he, or he's feeding turn meter to rebels and Jedi. It's a really solid thing. But I think honestly, the best part about him, uh, one, you can use him to try to counter Galactic Legends a little bit, especially do bass the Sean Lee and make him pre taunt. Oh, yeah. And then that ability block comes handy to turn meter removal. Uh, but also countering mm -hmm. gas. The reason why Silas can beat gas, or at least one of the reasons, he's not necessary, but it's very helpful. Old Ben getting a ton of turn meter through his uh, unique ability. Oh, yeah. Uh, being able to um, get, get the ability block on the other team, it helps uh, CLS keep up with gas team. So, and devoted protector having that double taunt really helps out too. Yeah, you're, you're saying all this, but you're forgetting if he does die, he has a little sacrifice. Yeah, he gets the sacrifice to, if he strikes me down. Pretty huge. Yeah, that's probably a big thing of why he's pretty scary for these early on. It's a rebel eliminated destiny, basically. Pop that. Yeah, it is. He is kind of insane, you know. Yeah, he's been out for long time and i still think he's you know one of the best tanks for these you know teams like the jedi and the rebels i mean he's just so good i'm very interested to see what they do with more rebels hopefully more rebel content coming, yeah. here, coming here soon i want to see how he kind of fits in there as well i could see so, him definitely being important for I, I i don't see him ever going outdated in terms of grand arena uh, even some arena teams he's gonna stick around for a while wow. he's got a good kit he does he does um so the last couple here on this list are i would say almost like the identical kind of kit in a way because of like what they bring to their teams but also their ships are really really good like kind of disgustingly good um so the first one i'm gonna chat about here is mr kylo ren and mask mm -hmm. so crew that's what people like to call him crew has an amazing kit yeah we have this new supreme leader kylo he's he's just great you know yeah. we already know how great he is but this guy is great for you out there who are wanting to work on you know first order he is a staple you pretty much on his halt ability you have a two turn stun yeah you can cleanse it off but if you don't have any cleanses i mean there you're stuck for two turns you can't do anything nope. right nope. which is pretty crazy you you're just stuck there um for a while but also i mean honestly he's a tank right he's not gonna do some crazy damage but the other part to, to his kit i like a lot is his leadership ability so his leadership is called merciless pursuit right but the thing I like a lot about this, yeah, you're going to have some extra speed, some critical damage, which is great, but the TM gain is so crucial here whenever you crit somebody. 20% is it's no joke. Huge, it really is, man. Huge. Huge, yeah. It's uh... Yeah, and I mean, on top of that, you get even more health and protection whenever they uh, gain a status effect, whether, whether it be positive or negative. So, I mean, it's just everything about this guy is awesome and the great thing about first Crazy order good. is that there, there's a lot of building stones like kylo ren when you first get him let's say you don't have a first order team he's a great just tank to plug in you finally get first order characters together for your bb8 he's gonna be pretty easy now you have a solid grand arena team that can beat quite a couple of things he can solo some weird stuff yeah. out there and then finally when you get the supreme leader kylo you have access to things like hux and sit trooper and hux and sit trooper when with Kylo Ren before you get Supreme Leader Kylo, oh, that that turned into like a second tier That's team, a scary team right and then then it bumps up to uh, yeah. Supreme Leader Kylo a S tier team, and Kylo Ren is we see him in there with Supreme Leader Kylo, so he's got various stepping stones. He's gonna be a character that always shows up and man that ship, uh probably it's incredibly important ship Dude. and necessary Dude. you want to have the oh, finalizer yeah. work. I mean, yeah, you've already probably seen videos about finalizer. I mean, this team can really just destroy some Akbars and the Rebels, but also if you have some better relics, like if you were to say go for these whole requirements for the Kylo, the yeah. Supreme Leader Kylo, you're going to have some more relics on these guys. You can actually, you know, reliably, in my opinion, beat, from what I've seen at least, beat some negotiators. Yeah, I've done it quite a few times myself. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little trickier yeah. than Rebels. Rebels are an easy win for First Order, but yeah, Negotiator, if you have the mods and the relics set up, yeah, you can kind of have a, a counter, and that could be important when we soon have two ships on defense in grand arena potentially yeah that's a huge thing yeah the two ships at, yep that's a huge thing and finalizer will be a heat up playing a huge yep. part in that whole aspect for 100%. sure so i think that's probably it for kylo um you want to talk about the guy here list 
He is crazy, Mr. Boss. He is absolutely <sighs> insane. You know, I don't know what else to say about him. I have respect for this character, but the one thing I don't respect him for is his ship. I think his ship. It's a great oh, ship. Don't don't, yeah. let, don't let me. I don't. I'm not talking yeah. mad garbage about. It's a. It's too good of a ship. It's kind of like Captain Rex. Who's old, really Captain is. Rex has always been good, but it's, it's something Captain Rex has been tolerable. Houndstooth, yes, there's ways to work around them, but he is just sometimes so stupid good. So he's a this Houndstooth is probably. Yeah. Would you argue me number one best all around ship in Galaxy of Heroes? Easy. Yeah. Outside of the um, outside of the capitals. Oh yeah. Yeah. Just outside ships, the capitals. The best. But in regards to the character yeah. himself. It's easy to get this guy to be fast. There's some really powerful combos that you could set yourself up with the boss. Like one of the things, like people try to cheese a Jedi training raid, but a boss gets that taunt off first, or there's a jangly, it can turn into a really messy battle really, really quickly. Yeah. For me personally, though, uh, I'm doing a lot of bounty hunter testing with Mando, and to get that contract Ooh. on the Mando lead going, it's really important to have boss go as early as possible. Get the buffs on the field. So then also you can start working towards this contract and then you have grief cargo do the mass storm so boss is as i said he's important for pulling off some big plays whether just getting the taunt off really early whether he's leading or whether he's of jangly or with mando get those buffs going so you can really get these contracts triggered he's just it's a staple bounty hunter character that i will i can't imagine will ever go out of style if you're running a bounty hunter team and i've seen some really weird stuff people do with scoundrels with him and there's just so much to do and his leadership ability it's another one of those staple things out there and uh oh, man it's just it's a good it's not a god tier Dude, character so but in grand arena it's a staple character and he's got a great ship that goes along with and you can't go wrong with him no you can't he's he's just so good so many uses out of these guys especially boss and his ship it's so so good so I think that's going to wrap it up for today. Ooh. That's 10 different characters. So many uses out of these characters, guys. It's kind of, kind of crazy, you know, how good these, you know, non-legendary, non-journey guides can be. And honestly, you know, in some aspects, they might be a little bit more um, in like the uses, at least the aspect of uses, a little bit more usage usage out of these guys. And that's the 10 I would say, me and Arnold would say. Yeah. Um, if you guys have any, you know, different opinion, let me, let me know down below in the comments because I would like to know as well if you guys have any differences in this list but that's gonna do it for me today guys thank you for watching and until next time thank you arnold actually for hanging out with me today arnold thank you but until Anytime. next time i will see you guys all later